Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are here to see what I bought in the month of June. Yes, I know this is very late. It's like the end of July, but I have been really unwell for a very large chunk of the start of July. So this is what we're getting now. So I've done um, a pull of all the stuff that I did purchase in June to show you. There are two lots of stuff that I will not be mentioning and if you'd like to see them I will have their videos linked down below because I just feel like I'm going to repeat myself if I showed you again what I got. So there is the Tarte stuff that I got from the Tarte kit that you get to make yourself. I will have that linked down below. There was an unboxing for that and I will also have my birthday haul linked down below so you can see what I got from the Colourpop Villains collection because that was part of my birthday present for my parents. So those two will be linked down below if you'd like to see everything I got in June but this is just all the other stuff that I bought during the month. So we'll kick it off with some foundations that I purchased. So I purchased two foundations for the uh, full Face of Australian makeup video, the collab that I did with Drea. I will again have that link down below as well. But I bought the Australia Australis O2 Glow foundation. And I also bought the Liquid Elixir. Um, I really like both of these. I was very impressed and I really liked the shades that I got in these as well. So those worked out really well. I also picked up another foundation. This is one of my holy grails, but I wanted to purchase it in a different shade than what I usually would because I've discovered I prefer my foundation a little bit darker. I think I look a bit healthier than wearing it pale. So this is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Fit Me. This was I now bought it in 125 beige. So it's just your normal dewy and smooth. I really enjoy this foundation. So I thought I would get it in a shade that I now feel comfortable wearing. I'm running out of space because there's so much stuff. Um, some base products next. So I bought these three minis from Natasha, De Natasha Denona. So I got the blush and glow mini, the bronze and glow mini, and the diamond and glow mini. And I have really enjoyed all three of those. I'm seriously running out of room. <clears throat> um, I bought this again for that full face of Australia, Australian makeup. So this is, again is from Australis. This is Sweet Like Chocolate, the bronzer. This is just a little mini. I think it's super cute. I love little mini stuff. And it smells really good too. So that's just the little Sweet Like Chocolate bronzer. Um, so what else have we got? Oh, face. I bought two highlighters. I actually bought more, but I'll show you in a minute. The first, I bought these together. This is from XO Beauty, Shan XO's brand. This is the highlighter in Aurora. It's really, really pretty. It's quite subtle and like just a nice sheen on the skin. So I really like this one. The other one was from Ofra Cosmetics. This is the highlighter in Star Island. A lot more blinding and very bold sort of highlighter. So it was it was fun to pick up both at the same time. What else have we got? Some other little products here. So from Wet n Wild, I picked up two singles. I got Nutty and Brulee. I think that was when I was doing the order for the two highlighters. I just sort of threw these in with them. I got an eyeliner just as like another little throw-in thing with a Sephora order. This is the Sephora... Um, crown eyeliner in navy blue yep from Essence I got the darkening and makeup drops I just really liked having something for my other foundations to try to darken a little bit because as I said I now wear my foundation a little bit darker so I picked up these that work great by the way I picked up some eyeshadow palettes for a lot of eyeshadow palettes in June. So the first is from Essence. This is the G'day Australia palette. Looks like this on the outside. That's it there. I also picked up the ABH um, Alyssa Edwards palette, which is currently in my 7 for 7 drawer. Really, really love this palette. I'm really enjoying it. I'm wearing it today. Um, I put the shade Inspire and Ho. Um, with Unicorn Tribe, just a little bit in the outer corner. I really love this palette. 
A palette that I'm sort of like a bit torn on was the Neon palette from Huda Beauty. I got the green one. That's it there. I really like the looks that come out of it, but the shimmers are just, I don't know, they're not my favourite formula. Uh, they're a little bit hard to sort of pick up and use, but when I finally get it going, the looks are really nice that come out of this palette. I did a Charlotte Tilbury order for the Hot Lips 2 launch. I got two of the full-size lipsticks. This is the Amazing Amal. Um, there. And I also got the shade JK Magic, which I just think is like stunning, this one. And then it, they came in like a little side thing each. So one of them was that you got to pick another refill. So I got the Patsy Red refill. So it's just a little tiny refill. And one came with a liner. So I got the Pillow Talk liner, which I love. And I really like the shade. So now I think I need the lipstick. <laughs> oh dear. Um, then the final haul here is from Jeffree Star. So when he did his summer launch, I picked up quite a few things. So firstly, I got one of his liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Fully Nude. That's it there. It's just a really nice nudie colour. I then got one of his lip scrubs because I really love them. This is the Cucumber Mint. It sounded right up my alley. I got one of his Supreme Frost uh, face highlighters. This one is in Diamond Wet. It's really pretty. And then palette wise, I got all three. So I got the Brain Freeze highlighter palette. <clears throat> um, as well as the two eye palettes. So the big one was the Jawbreaker. It's the biggest one he's released yet. And the Mini Breaker, which was the smallest he's released yet. So that is everything that I purchased in June. I didn't think that July would be so big because I've been unwell, but shopping therapy is a thing. So July is turning out to be quite large and I didn't expect it to, but hey, <laughs> I love what I bought so far. So I hope you guys are well. I hope you've had some fun doing some shopping therapy, but not too much. Let me know if you do monthly hauls or haul videos at all. I love seeing what you guys are buying. Please let me know in the comments down below so I can check it out and I will see you all in my next video.